Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola. Can you hear that? That's my AC. It's on. Okay, and it's running on my Solar X inverter. So what did I do? What magic did I perform? The lights are still on. So I'll go and show you what I did in a second. Um, so here we are. Um, let me show you the load first. So you see it's pulling 2196, 2200. So if you recall, when I put that AC on, the, the residual current device will trip. Now in certain countries, an RCD is required, uh, is called a code requirement. In Nigeria, it's not. Um, it's used to protect circuits. Here, the problem I've been having is a little different. So, um, this was the offending device, the RCD. Each time we put a load on, it will trip. We put a microwave on, it will trip. We put a air fryer on, it will trip. The AC definitely would not run on it. So, um, I'm not sure if it's defective or what the issue is, but what I did is we went and got a um, current limiting device and we set it to 40 amps. So this does not protect against surgeries. All it does is limits, all it does is limit the current. So in the last video I did this morning, I told you I'd be replacing that device. Um, and we did. And the good news is, hold on, there it is. And this particular one has an on and off button. So you could see, you can turn it off. You can turn it on right there. You could adjust the settings. So I have it, I have it limited to 40 amps. So we're currently doing 228 volts. 40 amps and then I have the voltage and current limit set so anything once it's over 260 volts it would stop it would turn itself off and if it's below 175 it will do the same and then we have to reset it and turn it back on again so I'm pretty excited um, this was a big issue for me I stopped me from running this I had the water pump and the microwave on at the same time and it did not trip it feels so good. It feels good. That AC is still on. Of course, it's my batteries are discharging. But who cares? What matters is that I can run this the way I should run the day in. And now I can do an actual comparison test to let you see how good this inverter really is. So, I like this. I like the lights. We all like lights. We all like kids, you know, shiny stuff. So let me see, this is showing 228. Let me see what the inverter says we're doing. So that's showing 228. Go to EPS mode. EPS. 230, 229. So this is showing 229, 230. And this is showing 228. So I have no idea which is correct. So what we'll do is we use a multimeter I will check to see which one is correct. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you yet to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.